Hi, I'm Joanna. I run Fur and Featherworks, and I'm here today to teach you how to load a clicker with a kitten. This little fella is Martini. He's about eight weeks old, and he has no clicker experience at all, so you're going to see this from the ground up. And he's a very busy little fella. So the idea of clicker training is that you use a very distinct, quick little sound to tell your animal exactly when they've gotten it right so they can then think back and think, what was I doing when I heard that sound? And then they can repeat that for you. So it makes your training really quick and efficient and it makes the communication between the trainer and the animal really clean. Uh, Martini, like I said, has no experience with any sort of training. He was just adopted about a week ago, so we gave him about a week to settle into his new home and he's gonna start his training journey today. I have a handful of treats that Martini likes. They're really tiny. They're maybe half the size of a green pea. He's obviously a really little guy, so we're going to make sure that we don't end up stuffing him full of treats. Um, our goal for today's session is for him to learn that the sound of the click means a treat is going to come. No matter what, if you hear that sound, you're going to get a treat. I'm going to use a mouth click with Martini like this because um, a lot of the things that I'm going to be working on with him, uh, I'm, or they're going to require both my hands, and so I'm not going to have a hand free to use a clicker. So that's why I'm going to use a mouth click. It is totally fine to use a box clicker, or um, my favorite clicker is uh, the Clickino clicker ring. But with him, we're just going to use a mouth click. So, so my job is going to be to click and then treat. It's very important that you click first, don't move, and then give the pet a treat. What you don't want to do is give them the treat at the same time as you click because you want to teach them that the click predicts the treat to come. That way later on when you have your hands full like I'm going to with him or um, it takes you a minute to get the treat, your animal understands, I heard the click, it definitely is coming but it happens a little bit later. So in addition to making sure you treat after you click, even if it's a couple of seconds, hey buddy, we also want to make sure that, oops, right there buddy, right there. You also want to make sure that you don't click, treat, click, treat, click, treat, like a metronome in a pattern. Animals are really good at patterns. And if they, if you teach them to expect a click every second, they will pay far more attention to the pattern than they will the click. So I'm trying to be a little bit random about it. Even for him, these are a bit of a mouthful, so I'm actually going to break them smaller. I had broken these little treats in half, but he needs them in quarters because he's a tiny little guy. There's a quarter that time. <laughs> So we're going to just repeat this until when I make that click noise, he clearly perks up and comes running over and anticipates a treat. That's when we know we've charged our clicker and we can start to use it to train behaviors. Right now, we're not training any behaviors. We're just teaching him the association between the click, the sound, and the treat. Come right here, buddy. Please don't climb me. There we go. Any second now, he's going to realize that the treats are in my hand and he's going to start mugging me for food. <laughs> he's almost there. So when this starts to happen, I'm going to make sure that I am waiting for him to stop trying to get them out of my hand before I click and treat. I want to make sure that I'm not reinforcing that behavior. I don't want him to think that trying to pry the treats out of my hand works to get them. because later on, that's gonna make training really, really difficult. I need him to understand that he can try and prime them out of my hand as, long, as, as much as he wants. That's not how this works. You have to leave the human's hand alone in order to get the click. <laughs> it's 
So here he goes trying to figure out how to get the treats out of my hand. This isn't naughty behavior. He's just trying to figure out what works. I'm going to make sure this doesn't work for him by just perfect. Waiting for him to back off even just a little bit before I click and treat him again. And I'm just going to keep my hand closed so that he can't actually get in there. So we're going to have to do this one again before he figures out that this doesn't actually work. Good job, buddy. That's much better. <laughs> Trying to steal them from me doesn't really work. Waiting patiently does. <laughs> Please don't climb me. It hurts. Thank you.